Here's your look at local and regional news on the half hour from easterniowanews.com. Last night, the Cedar Rapids Police Department was called to the Tobacco Outlet Plus, 2846 Mount Vernon Road, Southeast, because of a robbery. Employees there stated that two males wearing dark clothing, baggy jeans, and hoodies had entered their store, and soon thereafter, one produced a handgun. The pair took an undisclosed amount of cash and left the scene on foot. Information provided by the Cedar Rapids Police Department, who have noticed an increase in the number of reported lookouts related to burglaries. There have been reported in both daytime burglaries as well as those reported at night. There have been several neighbors of victims of burglaries this month that have reported seeing someone loitering around neighborhoods. An example of this is one neighbor reporting seeing a woman pushing a baby carriage but there was no baby inside. Police are asking that neighbors look out for the lookout. If you happen to look out of your window and see someone loitering around that doesn't belong in your neighborhood, call the police at the non-emergency number at 319-286-5491. If you see a suspicious vehicle, Vehicle, write down the license plate, description of the car and driver. If your neighborhood does have a burglary, you could have led the police in helping to make an arrest. Information once again provided by the Cedar Rapids Police. Three members of the undefeated University of Iowa football team have been named to the CBSSports.com midseason first All-American team. Offensive linemen Dace Richardson and defenders Pat Angerer and Tyler Sash were picked on the team. They were the only Big Ten players named to the first team. The Salvation Army is once again working with Walmart, Hawkeye Area Community Action Program, Toys for Tots, Cedar Rapids JCs, and other area partners and sponsors to make the holidays a little brighter for those in need in our community. The partnership between the Salvation Army, Walmart, and HACAP provides special holiday flood boxes to low-income households, including everything needed to prepare for a traditional Christmas meal. Of course, they're starting now because it's not far away. Registration is required to participate in these programs Applications will be available at the Salvation Army, 1000 C Avenue Northwest in Cedar Rapids, beginning October 26th through November 20th. No appointment will be necessary. And Iowa City Police report a, a home invasion at 590 Foster Road in Iowa City. The three victims reported five black males wearing black clothing and ski masks forced their way into the residence. Three of the suspects displayed guns. Two of the victims were sprayed and peppered. One of the victims was also sprayed and peppered and also struck in the head with an unknown object and suffered minor injury. The victim was treated at the scene by paramedics. And now you're up to date.